And so our next speaker is uh, Sung Yuk Ki, uh, speaking on positivity of multilinear maps and applications to quantum information theory. Okay, thank you for the introduction. And I'd like to thank the organizers to give me this great chance to present my recent work. So uh, this talk is based on several co-works with Lin Chen. Lin Chen is the uh, physicist. He's a young Chinese uh, who is working in the Beihang University in Beijing. And Kil Chan Ha and Kyung Eun Han was my former student. Actually, Kyung Eun Han was work, is working in the, uh, the functional analysis like the operator system. So I had called him to, to work together. Okay. So um, everybody knows that the, the one of the main, um, main contribution of, of the operator algebra is to the quantum information theory is to, to, to find some kind of the non-trivial positive linear maps within matrix algebras. So which is very crucial to, to determine if a given state is separable or entangled. So I would like to um, explain some kind of the multi-linear analog in order to determine separability for the multi partite stage, we need the multi-linear maps because the dual object of the several um, tensor product of the several vector spaces must be the multi-linear maps. So I'd like to uh, define some various kind of the separability for multi partite systems, and then uh, introduce the white the dual notion of the uh, such a kind of separability. So I have, we have to define several kind of the positivity for multi-linear maps to get some dual object. Then I'd like to get some examples, uh, which must be uh, non-trivial positive linear maps. So by non-triviality, I'd like to first of all just non-decomposable. Non so this must be so very simple examples between the uh, bilinear maps between two byte matrix times two byte matrices into two byte matrices. So I'd like some kind of choice like maps, which is non-trivial, which is very extreme and still positive linear maps. So these examples motivate some um, uh, to study some kind of very special kind of separability, which is so-called X state. So X state includes very important uh, states like the so-called GH diagonal state. And so we would like to characterize some several kinds of the uh, bi-separability for those states. And we try to uh, uh, characterize some separability itself. So this is my love plan. So I would like to begin to so file is separable. Everybody already know. So anyway, the state is usually the uh, so-called unital positive linear functionals uh, from some ordered species, of course. But uh, in the case of the matrix algebras, it is uh, represented by the density matrices. So a state must be uh, of the form uh, like this. This thing must be the convex combination of the length and projections of the vector GI. But we require that the GI must be the simple tensor like this. Like this. So, uh, by the definition, it is, um, it is very difficult to show that a uh, given state is not separable because that, uh, we have to show that uh, some kind of the expression is not possible. So actually, a uh, state is said to be entangled if it is not separable. So the main topic is to how to distinguish the uh, separable state from the entangled state. Okay, uh, in case of the bipartite cases, we have another kind of the separability. Uh, by the bipartition of the systems. For example, we have the uh, three systems like A, B, C. Then we, we gave the bipart bipartition of the A and B, C. Then the uh, tripartite state may be considered as uh, bipartite systems uh, sitting in the M, A tensor by the M, B, C. Then we say that we have the notion of the so-called A hyphen B, C separability as well as the full separability. Then uh, it's better to show some pictures to explain the uh, several kinds of separability. So we have the full separability here, and we have the A hyphen B C separability. Then why not uh, B A C separability and C A B separabilities? Then we may consider the complex whole of the, all of the things, uh, which is said to be the just by separable. And if we consider intersection of the three kinds of things, then it's said to be the full by separable. And uh, a state which is not bi-separable is said to be the genuine entangled. So uh, our, our, our task is to, 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 to what is the dual object of this kind, several kind of the uh, separability. So, so the right question is how to distinguish entanglement from separability. So answer is to, to, to look at the, what is the dual object. 
Okay, so uh, we would like to begin with the bilinear maps with the n minus n variables here to get the dual object of the tensor product of the n object. Okay, here is a bilinear maps with the n minus n variables. Then we associate a very big matrices whose dimension is the uh, d times d, whereas d is the times of the d1 times d2 times and so on. So the, in the first place, we put the uh, d1 by d1 matrices. This is nothing but the matrix units of the d1 by d1 matrices and so on. Then the, in the n minus one place, we put the d n minus one by d n minus n matrix units here. Then in the last places, we put the, the image of the uh, multilinear phi. This is the n minus n variables here. Then we get the d n by d n matrices here. So if n is equal to two, so so we uh, think about also the linear map cases. Uh, this is nothing but the Choi correspondence between the uh, linear maps between matrix algebras and the block matrices. So this is the, some multilinear analog of the Choi Choi matrices in a sense. Okay, then we can define the bilinear pairings between the tenth product of the n n object and the multilinear maps with the n minus n variables like here. So here is the state row, then uh, state row and the multilinear map here, then we replace the multilinear map by the Choi matrices. Then these two things uh, belong to the same object, so we can take the bilinear pairings as usual. So this is the uh, summation of the all entry-wise product, of course. Then we have the following the statement. Uh, okay, so we say that the phi is the the multilinear phi is positive whenever it is the entry-wise positive like this. So whenever we put the positive entries, a positive element in the every entries, then we get we have to the positive element here. Then uh, my theorem says that the an n partite state row is separable if and only if the bilinear pairing is non-negative for every positive linear maps, uh, positive multilinear maps with the n minus n variables. So actually, it is very easy to see that uh, p is positive in this sense. If and only if the bilinear pairing is non-negative for every separable state, then we can we can use the um, Hamburger type separation theorem to get this uh, statement. Actually, if it is n equal equal to, then the, this theorem is already known to the Horodetsky, the fundamental uh, criterion for the separability. And I myself also, uh, also uh, get some same result. Uh, to, but my motivation was to what is the dual object of the various kind of the positive linear maps, like positivity and two positivity and three positivity and so on. OK, then in, uh, we restrict our attention to the tripartite cases. Then uh, we may consider various kind of the uh, positivity must be a candidate. For example, the positivity we just defined is nothing but the, uh, this one. Then for every bilinear maps, we get the linear maps from the one system to the mapping spaces into the other places. Then the positivity required that the positive matrices and going to the positive linear map. But we may require that the corresponding linear map must be completely positive. Of course, we may change the uh, role of the uh, domains by the eight parties, two parties. Of course, we can consider the linearization of the tense product through the tensor product, then we may require that uh, this map must be positive. Or even we may require that the linearization must be completely positive. So it is very easy to see that the, the, this notion, this notion must be the dual object of the A hyphen BC separability. And this must be the dual object of the B hyphen AC separability. And this must be the dual notion of the CAB separability. So the, our main purpose is to uh, provide some kind of the single frame to explain all of this kind of positivity. Okay. So uh, before going further, we would like to explain some kind of the um, what is the most uh, natural framework in the mathematics. Uh, for example, we consider the function systems, which is very classical subject, which is nothing but the unital self positive space of the continuous functions, uh, whose morphism is just positive linear maps. Then very old days, Cadison and Paulson groups um, consider the uh, abstract characterization of this object. And uh, these people, Namioka and Epros, con uh, construct the tense product of the function systems. And more recently, my co worker shows that uh, uh, the following are equivalent for bilinear waves. This is just nothing but the positivity we just introduced. And uh, this whole, this uh, linear maps between the function system is positive in the sense we already introduced, if and only if 
It's a linearization with respect to the function system tens maximal tensor product must be the positive. In the case of the matrix algebras, the uh, maximal tensor product, uh, the positive cone of the maximal tensor product of the function systems is nothing but the uh, um, tensor product of the two positive cones. So this is nothing but the uh, nothing but the positive cone which is generated by the separable state. So our definition of the positivity of the bilinear map corresponds to the uh, positivity of the linearization with respect to the maximal tensor product of function systems. So uh, it is natural to what is the um, what is the quantized versions. So we consider to the operator systems. Then uh, this is nothing but the unital self-positive space of the bounded operators whose morphism is the completely positive linear maps. Then Troy Efros give the uh, abstract illustration of the of this object in the during the 1970s, and the forces group uh, already defined the tensor product of the operator systems and showed that the following two statements are equivalent. Okay, the linearization is completely positive with respect to the operator system maximal tensor product. If and only if the, this kind of the statement hold. So this statement looks like some definition of the uh, complete positivity for the linear maps itself. So actually the positive cone of the maximal tensor product as the operator systems of the uh, matrix algebras is nothing but the usual order or, uh, positive cone of the tensor product matrix algebras. So our the definition of the complete positivity must be the correspond to the complete positivity of the linearization with respect to the maximal tensor product of the systems. Actually, I know that the person called this notion as the jointly complete positive. So, but this must be the really complete positivity for the bilinear maps. You know that the, the notion, the term complete positivity for the bilinear maps is already used by Sinclair and some other people. So, so we have to <laughs> choose which one is really complete positivity. Yeah, but this must be the real complete positivity, I think. So the uh, analog solution for the complete boundedness for the bilinear maps already considered by Gil PGS, and he also was very reluctant to use the, uh, some jointly complete boundedness. Okay, uh, so uh, this, um, uh, this statement uh, uh, gives some motivation to us to, to define some, some, some positivity of the uh, multilinear maps. So here is the n cube for uh, natural numbers. And we have the multilinear with the n minus 1 variables. Then this map is said to be a capital S positive if the following condition holds. Here uh, we take the small sk by sk matrix from the whose entries come from the capital SK. Then we put like here. Here, here is for the first place, second place, and so on. Then we have the very huge matrix, this. Okay, the, we, we take the pi, phi, then the phi, uh, the whole, whole size, whole size of this. This one, the entries come from the capital SN, and the whole size is S1 times S2 and so on. So we take the scalar matrix in both sides, alpha and alpha star here, to make the SN times S, 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 SN times SN matrices. Then this requirement is that this should be the positive matrices whose entries come from the, uh, the SN, capital SN. It is the range of the uh, linear maps, P. So actually this definition makes sense even if the, uh, when the n is equal to 2 for the linear map cases, then the linear map is the ST positive in this sense. If and only if is nothing but the minimum of ST positive in the usual sense of the bilinear maps. So the usual, usual sense of the uh, S positivity of the linear maps can be explained in this framework. So furthermore, in the case of the bilinear maps, we already consider the five kinds of the uh, multilinear maps. Then this is nothing but the, the, these notions. The first, the just positivity we define is nothing but just one, one, one positive. And the, these notions is nothing but the one BC positive. The small b is, of course, the dimension of the b time, b parties, of course, like this. Okay, then this is nothing but the a1c positive. This is nothing but ab1 positive. And this must be just abc positive. So this is nothing but the, just the uh, bilinear analog of the uh, Choi, uh, uh, Choi theorems, which say that the uh, uh, complete positive linear, uh, linear map between the n by n matrices is, not, is equivalent to, say, the just n positivity. 
So for example, I already showed that the bilinear map is nothing but uh, bilinear map. A genuine entanglement is the uh, the, the, the okay, okay the uh, 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 linear map is the, uh, uh, state is the genuine integral if it, and it only if it is not bisepherable and the bisepherability is defined already some kind of convex hull of the three kind of the bisepherability. So each dual object must be the phi which is satisfy the three kind of the positive simultaneously. So uh, in order to detect genuine entanglement, we need the bilinear maps which satisfy these three kind of the conditions simultaneously. Okay, so we, I, I would like to give some questions uh, which is motivated to the bilinear cases. Okay, by the definition, the decomposability and two positivities has no logical relations. But uh, if very recently, it was shown that every two positive linear map between the three by three matrices must be decomposable. The dual statement must be that uh, every three by three times three PPT state must be uh, of Schmidt number two. The so Schmidt number two is nothing but just a dual object of the two positivity. So actually, this is already conjectured by the quantum people from the quantum physicist. Okay, then what is the bilinear web cases on a law? So we have to define first of all the what is the decomposability in the in the bilinear web. To do this, to do this the, we have to define the what is the complete co-positivity. Then to, we, we say that the composition of the transpose map from the A party or B party or C parties is said to be the complete co-positive linear map. So we have the various kind of the uh, complete co-positive linear maps in the bilinear cases. At least three kind of the uh, such a things. The normal map is decomposable. We naturally to define that it is the sum of the complete positive map and the various kind of the complete co-positive maps. And the omega map is the decomposable if and only the choice matrix must be the sum of the positive matrix and the co-positive matrices. The co by the co-positive matrix, we say that the partial transpose of the positive linear maps. In the three uh, tripartite cases, we have the three kind of the partial transpose, which must be correspond to the composition by the uh, the three kind of the transpose maps. Then uh, we have the uh, such a kind of the implication in general. Of course, we can if we can take the dual object in terms of the positivity of the bilinear maps, we can the reverse implications. Of course, here is one question, uh, which is the conjectured by the quantum physicist: the if every three qubit uh, p, three qubit PPT state must be W state. I don't explain why the, what is the W state here. But this is implied by the bisepherability. So we may ask a little bit uh, strong questions if every PPT three cube state must be bisepherable. What is the dual statement is that uh, suppose that if a bilinear map satisfies the three kind of positivity simultaneously, the question is that if this is decomposable. So this is must be some kind of bilinear analog of the uh, uh, result, which say that uh, every two positive linear map between the three by three matrices must be decomposable. So this may be relate the several kind of the positivity to the decomposability. Okay, so I would like to explain some, some, some examples, of course. So to begin with, I, I maybe let's think about what, what, uh, what should be implied by the positivity of the bilinear map. Then we may uh, associate the linear maps from the matrices into the mapping spaces, uh, which should, be, should send the positive matrix into the positive linear maps. But in the case of the two white matrices, the positivity is um, um, equivalent to the decomposability by the classical work of the um, um, Stelmer in the uh, 1960s. So uh, the, if we consider the uh, uh, four by four matrices instead of the mapping spaces by the Choi isomorphisms, then the, the, the target must be the sum of the positive matrices and the co-positive matrices. So the every positive linear map may be decomposed of the sum of the two correspondence. The one corresponds to the positive matrix into positive matrices, and the another one is the must be send the positive matrices into the co-positive matrices. But if these two correspondence is, is linear, then the sum of the, this map must be already decomposable. So in order to find the non-decomposable positive linear maps, there is only one way. Like this, for example, uh, we think about the two white matrices. Then we have some correspondence to the P alpha to the some kind of positive matrices and the partial transpose of the positive matrices. 
But this correspondence must be non-linear. But the sum of them, them must be should be linear. So we have to look for this kind of situations in order to get some non-trivial example of the positive linear maps. Okay, here is the answer. Okay, if we think about this kind of things, then the, we expand this part, then the, we, some kind of terms like the alpha times conjugate alpha appears. So this correspondence is not linear. But uh, if we put plus here, here the minus, then we sum of them, then the, this cancelled, so we have the linear correspondence. So this is the answer of the um, positive linear map, which is not decomposable. So then we can, we can write down this map in terms of the 2x2 uh, two two matrices into 2x2 two two matrices like here. Then this is the, just the corresponding choice matrices. So the, if you look at this, then there are so many uh, zeros in the diagonals. And furthermore, all of the entries must be zero except for anti-diagonal and diagonals. So this is why we are concerned with the so-called x, x type, x shape of the state. Okay, the, the, the map we just constructed has a very interesting property. It is, of course, uh, non decomposable as we intended. Furthermore, it is exposed. So actually, it is, uh, in a sense, it is the ray generated by the phi coincides with the double dual. The dual object is the set of all separable states, which is killed by the map phi, and the double dual is the, uh, defined by the same way. Then this double dual of the phi must be the smallest exposed faces uh, containing phi. The map phi exposed is nothing but the, 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 uh, this double dual must be coincide with the ray the generated by the phi. So of course the exposedness is the strong the notion of the just extremity. And why is why, this is very important um, in the quantum information theory because that every non-decomposable exposed map uh, may detect the PPT integral moment of the non-zero volumes. So just the extreme non-decomposable positive map may detect just the PPT integral moment just with the just the volume zero. So in a sense, they detect non-trivial entanglement. In order to detect the, some non-trivial set of the entanglement, we need a little bit uh, stronger notion for the extremity. So furthermore, it is that uh, we know that the uh, phi is separable if and only if the pairing is non-negative for every positive linear maps. So it is naturally if and only if it's non-negative for every extreme linear maps. But it is equivalent to say that the uh, uh, pairing is non-negative for every exposed map. Because that, uh, it is well known that the set of all exposed points is dense in the set of all extreme points by the very classical theorems. I don't even remember the name of the Polish mathematicians. Oh, yes, yes, okay. Okay, so um, I, I would like, uh, we just uh, constructed some very non trivial and very useful uh, in, um, examples for the quantum information theories. Okay, I would like to uh, examine some other examples in the linear map cases. So this kind of the elementary map is shown to be exposed by the, uh, these people and the machines very recently. And here are very few known examples of the exposed positive linear maps. For example, in the 3 by 3 cases, the Choi map, it's very famous Choi map, which is extreme non decomposable positive linear map, is not, turns out to be not exposed, even though it is extreme. But uh, we have considered some variants of the Choi maps, uh, then they are exposed. There is another example of two by four cases, there is a Borunovic, the old examples, it was shown to be the uh, exposed, uh, Borunovic himself. Actually, uh, when I begin to study the quantum information theory, I, I noticed that the importance of the exposed map. But I found that the no example of the known example of exposed non decomposable maps. So I asked the Borunovic, but he showed that, oh, he, his map is already exposed. Okay. So, and the, there is another non decomposable maps uh, given by Robertson during the, during the 90s, uh, during the 80s. And this map is turned out to be exposed. It's by, by the physicist. It was shown by a physicist. So, uh, though now I would like to uh, pay attention to some kind of X shaped state the motivated by our examples. Okay, a state, uh, at actually the matrix is the multi cubic matrix is said to be X shaped if all the entries are zero except for the diagonal and anti diagonal. So, it really looks like some X, capital X. So one of the very important states, like the G, so-called the GHG diagonal state, must be in this form. So actually this is the mixture of the 
GHG stage, which is maximally entangled with the some kind of noise. So uh, the separate problem for this kind of stage is to ask, is to ask how much noise is allowed to retain the property entanglement, in a sense. So several uh, physicists already tried to these problems. Uh, furthermore, the X part of the, if we take the X part for the, for the usual matrices, then the X part of the separable state is turned out to be again separable. So any kind of the necessary criterion for the X state is, uh, is hold for the still necessary condition, criterion for the general cases in terms of the diagonal and anti-diagonal entries. The same for the, um, the true matrices of the several kinds of the positivity. Okay, we use like this kind of notations. So in, in, in order to consider some multi-cubic cases, it's very delicate to use the notations. So we, like, we, we, we use the, this kind of notation for here. In the index is must be the string of the zero one. Here is the just bar denotes the, the conjugate of it. So the, we switch the zero and one in each places. Okay, the first result is to concern the uh, what is the what is the what is the dual object of the bisexuality. Say some um, simultaneous uh, the, the satisfy the three kind of positivity simultaneously. Then the the choice matrices should be uh, satisfying this kind of form. This is the an, uh, diagonal entries. This is anti-diagonal entries. And the final is the object uh, dual object of the fully bisexual. Then we have the answer. Uh, we have the answer like this. So we would like to stress that here, the, this kind of condition involves only the magnitude of the uh, anti-diagonal entries. So the angle part of the anti-diagonal entries plays no role in this kind of characterizations. Of course, with this kind of the characterization of the positivity of the uh, bilinear maps, it is easy to see, uh, get the uh, character entry-wise characterization of the fully by probability and by probability. Actually, this kind of the condition is already found uh, quantum physicist already. But we, 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 we add some here. Uh, the, this kind of the full bisexuality and bisexuality is equivalent to the corresponding notion of the PPT. Again, we may ask that the PPT imply the bisexual in general. But in the case of the X state, these two notions coincide. In general, the PPT mixture does not uh, imply the bisexuality. Okay, the natural next question is the, what about the just separability and the is dual notion of the just positivity for the multilinear maps. So to, to explain that, uh, we would like to introduce some notations. Uh, this is an uh, index, this is a J1 string, and this is the uh, n complex vectors. Then we take some number, g to the i, which is nothing but the product of the, this kind of things. Where is it better to, to see some examples? Here is the three vectors, and here is uh, the three qubit strings. Then we get the uh, multiplication uh, of, of this kind of numbers, like here. Then we define two numbers. Uh, this is the come from the given diagonal entries here. Then the variable is R is come from the n vectors whose entries come from the non-negative real numbers. We, we get this kind of the monomials and take sum of all of them and take the minimum. But it's almost the same thing in the anti-diagonal entries. We took the, some kind of the torus, uh, the, some torus in the complex planes must be. Then we can show that the n qubit x shaped to matrix, the true matrix of the positive linear map. So we, we, we are concerned with the positive linear maps whose true matrix is x shaped. Then this must be positive if and only if this uh, inequality holds. So we have to, we have to, comp to compute the, uh, these numbers, but it's quite very delicate. So I would like to concentrate on three cubic cases to, okay. Then we can take the, some kind of dual object of this number. It turns out to be that the, this number makes some norm. So we can take the dual norm in this part, and we, this is not, not norm, of course, but we can take the, some, some dual norm like the object of these no numbers. Oh, oh, okay, I, I have to explain some, some more. In the instance of one qubit or two qubit cases, it's very easy to, to find the numbers in terms of the entries. But the, even in the three qubit cases, there is no way to expre express the number in terms of the entries. So we have to compute some kind of the maximum. This is very difficult to compute this number because that the, 
It's very easy to do what is the minimum of this number. It's very easy to do what is the minimum of this number. But the minimum, minimum occurs for t point r, then there is no way to find out the whole minimums. The same for the P3. OK, so we define the dual object of the so number an. So we call that uh, delta n of a, like this. It's almost the same as the de definition of the dual norm. So we also consider the dual norm of the number bn. Then the x shaped n qubit state is separable if and only if this inequality holds. So in order to uh, determine the separability, we have to compute these numbers. This, this numbers and these numbers. It's not so easy task. So I would like to uh, restrict ourselves to the three qubit cases uh, to explain what's going on for these numbers. So first of all, the, uh, I, I think that uh, the duality between the positive linear map and the separable state is very useful to detect entanglement. So it is very useful to show that a given state is not separable. But uh, if we want to show that a given state is separable, then it is of the little use because that we have to check every positive linear map. You know? So, but uh, this uh, theorem is come from the duality of the positivity and separability, but it's very useful to, to, to show that so a given state is separable. Here is an example. Okay, I, I would like to uh, uh, restrict in the three cubic cases. So, I, we, we would like to notation like this. So usually, a1 to a23, then here from here, the b1, b2, b2, b3, c. And this is the entire diagonal part. Here is the uh, self adjoint uh, part for the entire diagonals. Actually, the uh, so x state is the GHG diagonal state if and only if A is equal to B. And C must be uh, real. Every, every entry of the C must be real. This is the, exactly the uh, GH diagonal stage cases. So every, actually, some quantum physics already consider the separability of the those stage in the three QE cases. For example, K uh, gave a condition under which a uh, GH diagonal state is separable if and only with your PPT. As, you, as I already said, that uh, the notion of PPT is very easy to characterize, determine. Actually, Guine, this is a physicist, also gave a necessary condition for the separability of the three qubit uh, state. So this is essentially expressed by the, uh, this kind of inequality. So actually, the, this, this number we already introduced uh, uh, he expressed, uh, considered a very complicated uh, formula, but it's essentially the same as the dual norm we introduced. And the, this, uh, th this number delta prime is just the minimum of the four numbers. Ah, no, no, no. Minimum of the six numbers. So furthermore, very recently, I could show that with my co-worker proved that the Guinness necessary condition is sufficient for the separability of the three qubit GH diagonal state. And we also uh, give some calculation of the, in terms of the entries. I will uh, uh, explain soon. So actually, uh, in the paper, we could show that uh, uh, this number, this number is exactly the same as the, this number. It is very easy to see that uh, this number is uh, obtained by, uh, okay, we look at the definition of the delta 3 again here. This is the definition of the delta n. Then we take some, some number s to evaluate this uh, pairing to get uh, some, some upper estimate of the minimum numbers. Then we can take the six uh, kind of the s. Then we can take, uh, we can show that this is the upper bound of the, the delta three. But uh, we can show that this number is coincide. So it's very surprising that the definition of the delta n is very complicated, but this is nothing but the minimum of the very finite many numbers in the three cubic cases only. So actually the proof is quite involved. We have to consider the, what kind of the uh, bilinear maps must be, must be extreme. So actually we can take the extreme, extreme of the extreme bilinear maps among the all of the things. So that's how we could get this kind of inequalities. So actually uh, I already explained that our calculation is without decomposition into the uh, sum of the pure product stage. So it is usually very hard job to, to find the decomposable bit. We, we give some examples. For example, this kind of the state has been considered by the quantum physicist to produce the example of the uh, PPT, three qubit PPT entanglement. And it is very easy to see that the separability implies that the AB is equal to C. 
But uh, our case, by, the, our, by our calculation, it is very easy to see that uh, this is a um, sufficient condition for separability as well as unnecessary conditions. So actually, we get some kind of the decomposition. It is not so trivial. So it's very difficult to find this kind of decomposition. But uh, we, can, we, can, we can show that uh, this state is the uh, AB equal to C is the uh, sufficient condition for the separability without explicit decompositions. So that's the value of our characterization, we think. OK, the norm and the dual norm we are concerned in the three qubit cases is heavily depends on the, this number. This is determined by the angular part. So I found that the quantum physicists usually say that the angular part of the complex number is the source of phase. So we call that the source of phase uh, difference. For example, uh, like this. It, it, the, the norm and dual norm depends only on the magnitude of the four entries and the phase difference, like this. Maybe we have some kind of trivial, trivial several inequalities. OK, um, we, we, I would like to show several examples of the norm the, and the dual norms in some, in some special cases. For example, in case, of the, in case of the phase difference is pi, say uh, the g is, looks like this. Then we can compute the dual, uh, we can compute the norm. For example, uh, we, 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 can, we, we have to divide the five kind of the regions. Then we have the formula like this. For example, uh, if the um, um, one entry is very small, then it becomes to it belongs to the this this part. Then the value of the norm is the, the extended from the error norms, like here. For example, this is the okay. It's better to look at like this. We we consider the uh, this vectors, the p q q q. Then this 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 is the shape of the unit ball with respect to the norm we introduced. So if the one entry is very small, then the unit ball is extended from the just error norm in, in, in its part. And the other part, uh, the norm is defined, it is determined by the, this number. So it's very curious what, what is the norm property. For example, this norm is not invariant under the permutation of the entries. The norm is invariant under the permutation if and only if the we have just, just uh, um, eight kind of the permutation, for example. OK, uh, in this case, for example, we have the, the entries is partitioned into two entries with the same magnitude. Then it's very easy to compute the norm. So for example, we have two, two numbers here from the same distance from the origin. Then the norm is nothing but the the, the maximum norm, maximum length of the, these two, two lengths. When the, when the P is the, the moving around the big circle, then the question is that the, when this number take maximum. Then the, it's very easy to see that the, when the, the take, it takes the maximum when these two, two, two lengths is coincide. So we can compute the norm like this. This is the formula for the norms. OK, the what about the dual norms? Uh, we would like to express the dual norm in terms of the entries, of course. But um, we just gave up <laughs> the, the answer and to, to, to concentrate very several cases. In the, all the entries are real cases, and the entries one and entries zero, and the entries are partitioned into two groups <coughs> with the same magnitude. We consider the three cases. In the first cases, uh, this is the answer of the dual norm. It's very complicated. For example, we have to get another coefficient like the lambda and the lambda pi. Then we have to consider these numbers and consider the three cases. And we have the sum time time times the new room is coincides with just L in the room. This is the happens when the separability is coincides with the PPT. In other cases, we have the dual rooms like this. So I don't know what does the, this number mean. For example, the same formula already appears in the calculation of the neurons, but the almost the same similar forms or, or appears in the dual norms. There must be some kind of the connections, but I don't know. And this is the uh, norms and the shape of the unit ball when the, the entries are given by the PPQP. So the, the unit ball looks like very, 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 very curious. 
So anyway, this is the calculation of the separability of the GHG diagonal stage. Like some part is already known to case uh, characterizations, and some part is uh, known to be uh, already known for the Guinness uh, sufficient conditions, like here. Okay, in the next time, uh, we would like to show some result. In the case, at least one entry is zero. Then it depends on the some, sometimes when the, how the, the other three numbers uh, do make triangle or not. Or the, with the obtuse or right, uh, right triangles, then we have the separability is coincide with the PPT. But other cases, we have the dual loans like this. And finally, I'd like to show that uh, in the case that uh, the, the anti diagonal entries is partitioned into two entries with the same magnitude like this. Then we have the answer like here. For example, we compute these numbers, which depend on the two magnitude and the um, phase difference. Then we get the T0, then we have to plug in T0 here to get the dual lorenz. So we, we actually, the first um, object, uh, first purpose is to uh, compute the dual lorenz in terms of entries, but uh, with this answer, we just gave up. This must be already too complicated. But this complicated um, formula gives us a very nice interpolation between the L2 and L infinite norm. It's very surprising. For example, like here. For example, we consider this kind of stage. Here is the R, R, S, S. We have to put some kind of phase difference here, like here. Then this is R, S uh, plane. What is the unipole uh, depending on the theta? If the theta is zero, then we have just the, the unipole of the L infinite norms. If theta is pi, then the norm is exactly coincide with the L2 norm. So we have the unipole like this. If the theta is varies from, to, from zero to pi, then we have the very nice interpolation between the L infinite and L1 norms. If we take the dual norm, then the, we have the interpolation between the L1 and L2 norms. So formula is also very complicated, but we have the very nice interpolations between the L2 and L1 infinite norms. So that's all the, I, I could find some kind of the um, dual norms. So because that is very difficult to find the computer dual norms, we may have to estimate some, some, some upper bound and lower bound, which may give us some necessary conditions and sufficient conditions for separability. So we have some kind of the, ah, you have one more, one more result, which when the norm coincide with the P, uh, L infinite norms, the, which is the corresponds to the, in what kind of situations, the PPT coincides with the um, separability. So we have some kind of several inequalities to, to get some necessary conditions and sufficient conditions for separability. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>